Okay, in this video we want to look at the solvability of this polynomial congruence. So we want to find the values of a for which a times x to the fifth is congruent to 9 mod 11 has a solution. And we're going to use a fact that I've proven in a previous video and that fact written in terms of the appropriate numbers here is the following. So x to the fifth is congruent to b mod 11 has a solution if and only if we have the following b to the power of uh, phi of 11 over the gcd of 5 and phi of 11 uh, is congruent to 1 mod 11. Okay, good. But now notice phi of 11 is 10, and that makes the GCD of 5 with phi of 11, 5. So that's equivalent to the following. B to the power 10 over 5, which is obviously equal to B squared, is congruent to 1 mod 11. Okay, good. And then... <clears throat> Also in a previous video, we checked that the only things that are their own inverses, because notice this is the same thing as saying that B is its own inverse. So that tells us that B is congruent to 1 mod 11, or B is congruent to negative 1, which is 10 mod 11. <clears throat> So those are the only two possibilities in this case. So now let's rewrite that in terms of our equation. So our equation, uh, not, uh, uh, ax to the fifth is congruent to 9 mod 11. So that's equivalent to the following. x to the fifth is congruent to uh, a inverse times 9 mod 11. Okay, good. But B is playing the role of A inverse times 9, so that tells us that A inverse times 9 needs to be 1 mod 11, or A inverse times 9 needs to be 10 mod 11. Okay, good. So now we can solve each of those. Now in this case, it's like pretty obvious that here we get A is congruent to 9, mod 11. So that's one of our solutions. Now this one's a bit trickier, but moving the a over and then the 10 over, notice we get that a has to be congruent to 9 times 10 inverse mod 11. But using negative numbers, so 10 is the same thing as negative 1, which makes 10 its own inverse. And so that means um, this is the same thing as uh, 9 times 10 mod 11, which is the same thing as 90 mod 11, which finally gives us A is congruent to 2 mod 11, because 90 is 2 more than 88. So there are two solutions. This is the end of the problem.